what's the crack youtubers we're having another unboxing slash unbagging video we have made an forge world order those you're part of the procrastination station page that i have on facebook the follow it would know that i ordered a fairly hefty bag or a fairly hefty box sorry of stuff from forge world i got my local gaming group to to chip in with an order i was doing so we could all get a free express delivery so without further ado we're gonna crack open my order so what i have for you here is the orc mega dread kill saw i also have the orc mega dread body and the orc mega dread shunter so this is what we're going to be cracking open here so we'll start off with one of the weapons we'll start off with the mega dread kill saw so what I'm going to do is show you guys what the parts come with it. And also check to make sure that everything is here and that everything is in good order. So we have, what do we get? You get a little guide to building resin models. You get these with all of your kits from Forge World. So they give you some tips in that regard. There are a load of videos online. Um... To help you with your forge world kits we'll probably oh, so we have a little parts good so we have our shoulder guard we're just checking to make sure that it's not misaligned look at the detail in that little cogs that looks cool man Whoa, yeah. Look at this. Saw blade. Wreck some face. That's pretty cool. Um, do I have anything for scale comparison? Um, not to hand. <laughs> I'd have to go digging and cause a mess. Now, hold on. I should have an orc knob I, I partially painted. Oh, he seems to be knocked off the, uh, the dresser. Oh, we have a paint pot. There we go, look. That's how big the saw is. A saw blade. In comparison to a paint pot. I reckon these would be relatively easy to make. Just roll out um, some green stuff. And then get a circular cutter. It'll be f fiddly. It would be uh, time consuming. But I like the wear grain on it. The grain where it's worn away. It looks pretty cool, man. Yeah, that blade's impressive. Then we have... This is for the chain to run in. Yeah, 12. Chain drive. And this is the pivot. So that must be the pivot for the arm. Yeah, so that's like the shoulder pivot. And this is the chain. Which would go something like that. Yeah. Realistically, it would probably go that way. The gear ratio, that would spin faster. Not that orky stuff making sense makes sense, but you know yourself. Three and four, we have long chain and short chain. We have exhaust. Long piston, that's a piston. So that's chains and pistons. And then we have like cables and stuff. So we have cables and we have... What are these guys? Number six, short pistons. Some more pistons. Pistons, cables... It's pretty detailed kit, I have to say, and this is obviously like the ball socket shoulder mount. So it all fits together. So that's the Mega Dread kill saw arm. We'll try and get the other arm in now. So we'll throw this in here. Originally, I was thinking oh, I'll make loads of little videos about all the little arms, but that's nobody wants to sit through all that. So what we're going to crack open now is the orc, should say Mecha Dread shunter weapon because the weapons for the mecha dread not the mega dread um weapons wise i didn't choose like weapons options that are the best gameplay wise i chose the weapons that i liked the look of the rule of cool and all that um so yeah we have another shoulder pad but with no black ominous material there's your uh ball and socket joint for the shoulder blade itself 
There is the shunter. That is detailed, man. That looks fairly impressive, I have to say. And it's pretty straight as well. Yeah. Came out in the cast, it's uh that's that's pretty tidy. Nice. No no slippage. Even like looking down here. There's no detail in between that. There's no mold lines. That's that's really good actually. I'm well impressed with that. Because if there was mold lines in the likes of these uh these concentric circles here up along the, the the shaft of the barrel or whatever, that would be an absolute pain to try and clean. We have more bits and bobs. We did not get an assembly piece with this. Did we? No, we didn't. We didn't get no assembly instructions with this one. So, how are we supposed to check that we have all the parts? Unless I'm losing my marbles here, I don't think I, I got in an assembly uh, sheet with this one. So what I will do is I will email Forge World later. Unless I'm being a total pillock. But I'm pretty sure I didn't. I will email Forge World just to get them to send me on a, a photo. Because I just want to make sure that I have all the parts. I think they're all here. I'll check on the web store and I'll have a look myself. But yeah, they are the shunter parts. From my Mecha Dread. I think they're all here. Shoulder. Shoulder mount. All socket joint. Yep. Okay, so we'll leave all those bits over here to the side. And then we'll get on to the Mecha Dread itself. So, Mecha Dread. Let's have a look. Du, du, du. And this one came with some instructions, but more importantly for me, I'm looking for kit content, resin components list. And we are checking to make sure it is all here. So we have, I've actually put this up on the screen here. I won't have to keep looking away from you guys. We have number one on the list of component parts is this guy. This is the torso, as you can tell. It's not too far off the size of a standard dread. So the torso is looking all right. All of this will just come off. All this stuff will we'll get rid of that. That's all waste material. Number two on the list is the engine. So where's the engine? Boom. Ooh. That's well impressive. Look at the engine block on that. Dirty. Mm. That's proper, man. That is sweet. I have to say, that's probably the most impressive part of this kit, is the engine block. Look at the detail, man. Look at the details on that. <laughs> right, so that's the engine block. I don't really want to put it to the side. I could stare at this for a while longer, but for the sake of video length, we'll, we'll move along. We have number three. This is our right foot. So that's a side view. Obviously, this will be the bit that it stands on, the toes, the heel. Yeah, this is our foot. Detail in the pistons you can see here. The sort of springs, hydraulics. That looks cool. It looks like stuff attaches here. So that's those dudes. That's that's that foot. Next, number four, we have the left foot. Different to the right foot. So detailed differently. Yeah. Similar in some regards, but different in others. Detailed slightly different. We are looking for part number five is the hips. So Shakira would be proud. Look at the hips on that. It is, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It's got itself an old crotch hatch, just in case. 
for a emergency grot evacuation <laughs> uh, so that's the hips what else have we got next on the list is number six which is the teeth plate oh, it's got a hoist and everything man oh, that is cool looking look at the detail on that bits of chain so this is the mecha dread hence the uh the mech symbol that looks sweet man so number six what's number seven on the old list number seven is the right foot piston and what does that look like number seven number seven is a load of pistons so these are not them uh these are t -t -t still not them where these bits go ah yes that's number seven that's the right foot piston that's the left foot piston seven eight nine and ten are leg pins one and two this thing literally has its own like leg pins and stuff so we'll try and find nine and ten you can tell i've not gone through this kit at all where's the the pins where's me pins maybe they're attached there they are attached they're attached to the same sprue but they're shown differently so <laughs> there are the pins in the picture they're shown as a separate piece in the picture they're shown as on being on totally separate sprues it's a bit confusing so if you're wondering why seven and eight are here and then nine and ten are a separate one and then it goes eleven and twelve that's all the one piece so my, my confusion has paid off so that's seven eight these middle ones are are nine and ten and then eleven and twelve so they're not actually separate that's a bit odd man so when they took the picture these were separate and then they've all put them onto the one piece probably because it's easier so i'm not missing any parts that sort of scared me for a moment there not that it would be much of a problem like i said forge world are pretty cool it's in you know, replacement parts with no hassle parts 13 and 14 right toy left toy like me some chicken toy finger licking chicken right so we have number no this is the toy and that's the toy so just make sure that they are okay yep parts was the day number 15 du, 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 is the mech orc pilot he looks pretty cool so he can sort of stick out of the hatch and he's uh mucking about with the uh controls now i don't know if i'm gonna have him sticking out of the hatch I'll come to that uh, hurdle when I go to assemble the kit. And the pilot's there. We are looking for parts 16, 17. These are all these little bits here. Yeah, they're all there. We're looking for parts 16, 17, 18, 19. Which are these bits here. 18 left manipulator. Left manipulator arm. Yep, that's correct. That's all there. We have 20, which is all these parts. They are the engine tappets. So they go on top of the engine block that we were, that I was well impressed with. So they'll go on like that. Over them. So they're all there. Draw a cast properly. Um, da -da -da, exhaust. So like 21, 22. So we have three 21 22 23 all the parts are here it's a bit more flash on these guys that needs to be cleaned up but nothing too major what else have we got right lower leg so lower leg 24 25 we have the left and right lower leg that's there 25 we're looking for 26 and 27 which is left toe plate right toe plate so there's our toe plates they are there uh we are looking for a crew hatch which is this guy here that is number 28 power coils our next number 29 and 30 is power cabling so power coils and power cabling we have these guys here we 
your next root manipulator, root manipulator arm. So these are the arms that the mech uses to uh, 18 and 19 to repair it. So 31, 32, that's this one here. So these are its L repair tools with drill bits for doing the fixings and the battles. Manipulator sockets 33. So these are the sockets for the little manipulator repair arms. Telescope and a tow hook. So telescope and a tow hook. So obviously the tow hook goes on the front of this guy here. And there we go. So that's it guys. That was the a quick uh, look at the Orc Mecha Dread body. Uh, with the buzz saw arm and it's a uh, shunt to a weapon arm um, thanks for watching and um, i'll do another video soon enough with the with the remains of my forge world order and uh tune in to to see that one soon enough so thanks for watching guys i'll uh see you in another video soon enough